anchor your life to the inspiring words that will put a rainbow in your sky. Listen to Word and Songs, a program that will introduce you to the word of life and beautiful music to help you experience peace and consolation. Join the Daughters of St. Paul for half an hour of Word and Songs. Hello there, dear friend in Christ. How are you? How did you pass another week in your life in the midst of the pandemic we are continually battling? I hope and pray you are fine and in the pink of health, so with the rest of the members of your family. And ever grateful to God for keeping you safe and sound and for providing for your daily needs. I'm Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul, inviting you to join me for half an hour here in our program, Word and Songs, nourishing your soul with the Word of God and inspiring you with music beating from the heart. We are now on the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and the readings for this Sunday remind us that Christians are called to live their lives in a different way from others around them. Christian discipleship demands honesty, the willingness to suffer, take up your cross, generosity, to offer our bodies as living sacrifice to God, and readiness to follow Jesus by obeying His commandment of love. Today's readings explain how this Christian mission should be accomplished. They explain how we should know and live the will of God and accepting the suffering involved in it. These readings also tell us that suffering is an integral part of our earthly life, but it is also our road to glory. There is no crown without a cross. So may I now invite you, friends, to sit back and relax as we allow the Lord to speak to us personally in this program. Meanwhile, may we listen to our first song. I am for Jesus, I am for Christ. I'm grateful to my Savior, I glorify my Lord. I am for Jesus, I am for Christ. I'm grateful to my Savior, I glorify my Lord. Been crucified with Christ. He offered himself for the love of me, that through his death I may have his life. It is him living in me, living in me. I am for Jesus, I am for Christ. I'm grateful to my Savior, I glorify my Today's Gospel, after correcting Peter for trying to divert him from what would be his way of the cross in Jerusalem, Jesus declares three conditions for any who would become and live as his disciples. First, deny yourself. Self-denial means evicting selfish thoughts, desires, and tendencies from our hearts 
and letting God fill our hearts with Himself. It also means being cleansed of all evil habits, enthroning God in our hearts, and sharing Him with others. Second, take up your cross. Carrying the cross with Jesus always entails pain and suffering. Our personal sufferings become the cross of Jesus when we suffer by serving others selflessly. When we give others our health, wealth, time, and talents until it hurts, and we join our physical, mental, or emotional sufferings to Jesus and offer them with Him to the Father in reparation for our sins and those of the world. And we work with the Spirit who is purifying us to our personal sufferings or penitential practices. And third, follow me. Following Jesus means that, as disciples of Christ, we should live our lives according to the Word of God by obeying Jesus' commandment of love. To follow someone who has asked us to take up our cross daily seems foolish. But in the words of Venerable Archbishop Fulton Sheen, to be a fool for Christ is the greatest compliment the world can give. You and I are in good company because most of the saints embraced the cross of Christ and were considered fools for doing so. I want to know you, Lord, you know I do. I want to love you, Lord, and live for you. I want to touch you, Lord, to walk with you, my God. I want to learn to be like you. I want to love you, Lord. Today's readings highlight the aspect of suffering as part of Christian discipleship. In this time of pandemic, we come face to face with suffering in various forms, happening in the lives of many people in different parts of the world. Perhaps you too are suffering now because of this pandemic. So, what is your attitude towards suffering? Do you welcome it with faith, believing, that God will help you go through with it? Or do you avoid suffering at all costs because it makes your life difficult, miserable, and burdensome? Suffering, my dear friend, is inevitable. As long as we live in this world, we will suffer at one time or another for varied reasons, be it health, 
finances, relationship, work, etc. There are just too much to suffer, especially in this time of pandemic. That is why we have to befriend suffering in our lives and look to Jesus as our model, how to bear it patiently, lovingly, and with a purpose. Jesus suffers and dies on the cross in obedience to the Father's will, to prove to us how much God loves us. That is the greatest expression of His love for us. He laid on His life on the cross that we may have life. The very center of Christ's mission is His death and resurrection for the life of the world. We can recall that St. Paul declared, May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. The Lord Jesus Christ, on the night before He died, He prayed to God the Father that His life then may be spared. But the Lord Jesus Christ, so humble when He prayed, Father, not my will but Yours, Your will be done. O Lord Jesus Christ, help me as I pray. Help me do the Father's will, so I become God's obedient child. Father, I pray, let your will be done, and let my will be God. Take control of my heart. Make my pride fall apart Father, I pray Let your will be done Let my will be gone I follow just your will Father, let your will be done Control of my heart, make my pride fall apart. Father, I pray, let your will be done, and let my will be gone. I follow just your will, Father. Let your will be done. Control of my heart, make my pride fall apart. Father, I pray, let your will be done, and let my will be gone. I follow just your will, Father. Let your will be done. You're tuned in to Word and Songs, and this is still your friend, Sister Lines of the Darb St. Paul. Friend, Jesus is a suffering Messiah. 
One reality that the disciples could not understand and accept, especially Peter, in today's gospel. When Jesus predicted about his approaching suffering and death, Peter's immediate reaction to it, like our own natural reaction, was to reject the very idea. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. But Jesus in turn rebuked Peter with harsh words, Get behind me, Satan. You are a hindrance to me, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. At that point, Jesus turned to all those who were following him, clearly presenting to them the path to follow. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. The temptation of many of us today is to follow a Christ without the cross. But Jesus reminds us that his way is the way of love and that there is no true love without self-sacrifice. Friend, we are called to keep ourselves from being absorbed by the vision of the world, but to be ever more aware of the need and of the effort to go against the tide of pursuing worldly values that contradicts gospel values.
friend, suffering is not an end in itself. It is a pathway to glory. Jesus has taken on the full weight of human suffering and transformed it, giving it life-giving value. This is why we willingly display the crucifix instead of rejecting it. While we try to alleviate suffering through legitimate means, at the same time, we try to see it from God's perspective so as to find its deeper meaning. When we look at the crucifix, we are reminded that God does not see suffering as something to be avoided at all costs. He knows how to bring good out of suffering. Lead me, O Lord, where to go To follow you Lead me, O Lord, on the way You want me to take As we continue our journey in this life, especially during this time of pandemic, we are called to be transformed by the renewal of our minds so that even in the midst of trial we are experiencing at this time, we may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. To be able to do this, we need to fix our gaze on Christ crucified. He is risen, but His cross, His passion, is our strength. The way of perfection, then, passes the way of the cross. Living out God's will 
no matter what form the cross may take in our lives, is what leads to our glory with Him. There you are, friend. I hope this episode of Word and Songs inspire you to embrace your suffering with renewed faith, hope, and love, so that it becomes redemptive, meaningful, and life-giving. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the sources of my sharing. From Father Anthony Cadaville's homily for the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, published in www.fathertonishomilies.com. From the spiritual reflection of Pope Francis, entitled, There is No True Love Without Self-Sacrifice, published in Libriria in the Trice Vaticana. And some thoughts from Pondering the Word, the Anawim Way. Thank you so much for the insightful reflection. All the songs featured in this program are from the CD album, I Am for Christ and Teach Me Your Way, Lord, produced and distributed by Pauline's Audiovisual. If you want a copy of this CD album, just visit any Pauline's Media Center nearest you or visit our website, www.store.paulines.ph. These songs are also available for download in Spotify, YouTube, iMusic, and iTunes. To those of you who follow us in YouTube and Facebook, thank you for listening. Remember, Pauline's Radio PH is linking lives and healing hearts. Let me leave you with these words of Jesus. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. This paradox contains the golden rule that only love gives meaning and happiness to life. I'm Sister Lines of the Door of St. Paul saying bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Join me again next week for another episode of Word and Songs. Stay safe, everyone. God bless us always.
you've just heard, Word and Songs. This program was brought to you by the Daughters of St. Paul, 